Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions 4 box random letter number 3. We're going by the first name, first letter. First letter of their first name. All non-human cards, right? Maps, coins, animals, vehicles, space stuff or whatever will be randomized as one lot to one person in the break, as one big group, even if they're relics and even if they're numbered. So one person will get it. Could be a small stack, could be a big stack. It'll just depend on the break itself. There are the, uh, there are the letters right there. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate it. Again, there are the letters once again right there. Let's roll it and randomize both lists. Six and a three, nine times. Good luck. One, two, three. And ninth and final time, after nine, we got Matt Jen down to Joe Pearson. Different Joe P. Six and a three, nine times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine, we got P down to T. So here's how it shakes out. Matthew with P, Nick with A, Mike with D, Stephen with S, Nick with J, James with N, Rob with R, Nick with V, W, Z, Rick with L, Nick with C, Nicholas with all other letters, Josh with K, Rob with M, and Joe with T. Let's order these alphabetically. And we're gonna pause the video. When we come back, we're gonna see if there's any trades. We're gonna open up the trade window and then after we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around, BRB. All right, welcome back. No deals were done, so that list remains the same. Here on Wednesday the 6th, Goodwin break number three. Appreciate everybody. Uh, appreciate everyone making this happen. All right, so there's the second inner case from the master we popped open. See which uh, which half we're gonna do here. All right. Let's select a die. We'll select that one right here. Um, we'll go one, two, three for the left side. Four, five, six for the right side. Six, right side. This side will be for break four, which we will load up a little bit later tonight. Personal breaks of this also available on our Instagram channel, at Jaspies Breaks, if you wanna get a whole box all to yourself. Feel free to be greedy. That's Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks, Instagram Live. All right, now let's see what we got in here. Good luck, everybody. Jack B, what's going on? How are you? Quick NBA, how many games does LeBron have to play to qualify for the sporting chance? I believe two. Couple more, I think. I think Lakers maybe only have three or four games left. I think he's gonna try to play a couple games on that sort of bum ankle slash knee. I don't know if he's gonna get it. But he's gonna try. I feel like Joel Embiid's kind of running away with that one though, isn't he? Ah, 
Adam, what's going on? How are you? Roll. Good luck, everybody. And we got a Roberto Campos 3D card, lenticular, for letter R. First letter, first name, Rob with Rob. And we've got our first non-human. It's a yellow rumped warbler. A singing bird, I believe. Warblers warble, right? Yeah, the yellow rump warbler is named for the beautiful splotches of yellow on its feathers. Although it primarily eats bugs, the warbler also can consume fruit during the winter or when insects are scarce. The females lay four to five eggs and build nests with the help of a mate. All right, mate. There you go. And we got Troy Mullins. Some good penmanship there from Troy Joe with the letter T. See if we can make a nice poker hand out of those animal poker cards. Mm, six king offsuit. It's not looking good for us. All right, we got Ryan Whitney, 190 out of 299. Letter R, Rob. Yes, we're kind of working on a on a straight here. But we're running out of cards. Hmm, three, that doesn't help us. Jalen Green, red parallel for J. Uh, yes, for now. It is for now, Adam. All right, so I'm not much there. We can't really build it, build anything out of those cards. So apparently, Jackson Ryan Whitney is an ex hockey player who's now more famous for making vodka commercials. What vodka commercial? Rex is saying, was saying, I uh, can't believe tomorrow's actually going to be opening day. I know, right? It was a little touch and go there for a second. In fact, this weekend is going to be pretty, pretty packed with sports, boys and girls. All right, Whitney is making New Amsterdam vodka commercials. This break brought to you by New Amsterdam vodka. Yeah, pretty packed sports week. We got, we got two sets of, uh, we got half the teams doing, about half the teams, maybe a little under. There's some weather delays, but... Some teams opening tomorrow on the 7th, some teams opening on the 8th. We've got um, the Masters tomorrow morning, starting starting tomorrow morning. Tiger is going to give it a go. 
And then uh, I think Formula One is in Australia. So, which is nice because I think the time difference works out nicely because I think for, at least for me on the West Coast, the Grand Prix will be on Saturday at like 10 o'clock Los Angeles time. Which is very nice. Have a great night. See you, man. See you. Tomorrow? Yeah, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Right, yeah. Thankfully, the Lakers season is finally over. They've taken him out back like a, a horse with a broken foot and just shot just shot him. <laughs> they have such a bad season. Are you on the No, I'm good, sir. Thank you. Of course. When am I seeing you next? Uh, Friday or Monday? Friday? Or, no, no, I'm not here on Friday. Monday. Monday. I'll see you on Monday. All right. See you next All right. Week. See you, Thomas. Have a good weekend. Thanks. You too, man. We've got some riffraff right here for Rob. Uh, Joanna, the lenticular, the MMA fighter, she goes to letter J, Nick Stober. The riffraff dual relic will go to letter R for Rob. And what else do we have here? We've got a flamingo. There you go. Flamingos are brightly colored birds that begin life with white feathers that slowly turn bright pink because of the food that they eat. They live in large groups, hunt small fish, and eat algae near bodies of water. Their nest appears in mounds of mud, and eggs usually hatch after approximately a month. The flamingo going to the non-human spot. Also a, a fun, uh, fun front lawn decoration. And a, not a bad place to stay at the, uh, at the strip. They've got a nice pool, too. Uh, no. No, thank you. We've got another playing card here. And a queen nine offsuit. That's a little rough to start off with. Although, can we, can we work on a straight here, maybe? Are you working on a straight? No, that six doesn't help us. The three doesn't help us. really doesn't help us either. Dang. There's Colin Morikawa, the letter C. And we've got uh, Sarah Pavin, 248 out of 299. Beach volleyball player going to Steve Nolson with the letter S. There's a nice uh, Jordan Platinum Legacy card right here too. That's fun, letter M, Rob. And there's Naomi Osaka. And nothing really here for us, huh? All right, halfway through this four box break, Jack saying LeBron made a mistake in giving thumbs down to Lowry in favor of Westbrook. Lowry, yeah. I would have rather had Kyle Lowry as well. Or DeMar DeRozan. Or even keep Alex Caruso and Kyle Kuzma maybe going after Buddy Heald. That's what we were saying last summer where we're just like, I like Westbrook as a, I like Westbrook as a person, as, as an individual, but it just did not, did not fit was not a fit for the Lakers. I said this on this very show last summer. And, and it would require, like the margin of error for the Lakers was very small with that, kind, with that roster construction. And they paid the price this year.
Oh, is that is is LAFC, LA Galaxy playing this Saturday? See, there's a lot of sports going on. Yeah, Brandon's saying even John Wall is probably would probably be a better team player than Westbrook, or just even just a regular better fit in general. Melo surprisingly a good fit. That I that I wasn't too surprised about. Carmelo has shown that his game had he had adjusted his game and has really kind of had a really nice third act to his his career. Oh, my club Liverpool. Liverpool is playing Man City Saturday Saturday morning, Sunday morning, which which could could say a lot about who's going to win the title in the Premier League. What else do we have? NASCARs at Martinsville. Yeah, we have jam-packed sports weekend, ladies and gentlemen. I'm I'm excited about it. Next box we have, there's Ryan Whitney again, 284 out of 399. For Rob and the letter R. There you go, yeah. It's got a podcast too. And there's Sabrina Ionescu. She's pretty good, letter S, Steven with the lenticular, the 3D card. And we've got Beirut, piece of the map. I'd like to visit there someday. It's a place I'd like to go here. Another, another card for the non-human. Yeah, Paris of the Middle East. All right, so that'll be randomized to one person in the break, that whole group. Eight and a seven. Could be working on a straight. Jack's wife, born in Beirut. Nice. Yeah, I think I'm Middle East, I'd like to go someday. No, I don't think the I don't think the hope of a straight is there anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, maybe. Uh, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna need a couple of cards. I need need to get help big time here. Huh? Well, now I'm getting a little closer there. Four, five, six, seven. Eight. Still have a chance. There's Carlos Allison. Any more poker cards? No. Okay. We got close. All right. Final box. Brandon's happy that Bobby Witt Jr. is debuting. You're hopefully, yeah. Hopefully those cards. He has a hot start to the season. Yeah, his, those cards will definitely jump up in value. In fact, I feel like a lot of, uh, I feel like a, there's been a lot of sort of young players. I think there was a new rule in the CBA that hasn't entirely fixed service time manipulation, but has incentivized people to, um, excuse me, to, um, to call those players up earlier, I think. Anyway, Bobby Wood Jr. for the Royals is up. I think Hunter Green for the Reds made the opening day roster. Spencer Torkelson, we've been hearing about him a lot, has made the opening day roster for the Tigers. There's some other names that I'm forgetting, but... Um, Phillies, Bryson Stott is, uh, is, also, is also on the opening day roster. So yeah, update, Pops update products or series two or whatever are gonna be pretty crazy. What else? I feel like I'm missing a couple other names that have made. 
Well, after the Rays uh, traded away Austin Meadows, Josh Lowe is is now called. I don't know how often he's going to get playing time, but he's called up. I think, uh, I don't know if Kiebert Ruiz and Josiah Gray are going to have rookie eligibility this year. Did they already eat up their eligibility this year? But for the Nationals, they that was that Scherzer-Turner trade, so they may... They may get some stuff going here. Yeah, Bobby Miller is definitely going to be... I, I feel like Bobby Miller will make a start before his Major League debut, before the All-Star break. I mean, he's better than Andrew Heaney, right? Better than Tony Gonsolin? I think they just want him to marinate a little bit longer in, uh, in AAA. Yeah, Dominguez, Jason Dominguez, I think, is a little ways away. He may be a year or two off, so he's got time to, time to marinate. Overly hyped now. Well, hopefully he lives up to that. He's still he's still pretty young. I'm trying to think, there's got to be some others. Someone someone else must must know another sort of top tier rookie that we've been kind of talking about for a while. That's been uh, that's that's made the team. All right, final box. Good luck, everybody. We got Bryson DeChambeau. Anyone, anyone like him to win the Masters this weekend? Starting tomorrow. Teeing off tomorrow. Tiger's in it, too. Letter B. That goes through all other letters. Nicholas Lombardi with that one. Yeah, the Dodgers are actually going to get a lot of... Uh, ooh, a quail. I think the Dodgers will get a lot of uh, help in the second half of the season. Dustin May should be back. Danny Duffy could be healthy. He did pick up, ooh, you know what? There is a bit of an issue right there for whoever gets the non-human cards. I don't know, I wonder if Upper Deck will help replace it. That's, that's like, the, there's like a machine that pushes cards in, I think that it catches on the edge of a card sometimes. But the quail, many birds fall under the quail umbrella and they all share some common characteristics. They are small birds that spend their lives eating seeds or hunting bugs on the ground, rarely taking flight. Quails will often eat things that are poisonous to those who hunt them. There you go, the quail. Oh, the distinctive plume on their on their forehead there. Knowledge. Hashtag knowledge. And we got an autograph, Jason Isbell. Uh, I am not too familiar with this uh, with this musician. He's playing a nice, uh, nice Telecaster there, though. He is a singer-songwriter, guitarist, uh, best known for his solo career's work with the band The Forty Unit, and oh, and as a member of Drive By Truckers for six years. Okay, I know, I know Drive By Truckers. All right, so pretty nice for the letter J, Nick Stober for the letter J. Maybe check out his music; you might like it. There's the five that we needed from the previous box. Five queen offsuit. Right, that is correct. I think he was. I think he was starting. Starting catching last year. I'm wondering if he if he has gobbled up his rookie eligibility. Is he is he gonna is he allowed to win rookie of the year this year? If Josiah Gray keeps those walks down, it's gonna be pretty good. I got him on my fantasy team. There's Red Gerard to 2.99. Josh is saying that Jason Isbell is a good auto. I think so too. I like to drive by truckers. I got five, queen, jack, seven. Nothing there. Three. I'm not getting helped out at all here. Oh, that's right, Corey Christian. That's another good one. Julio Rodriguez made opening roster. 
Opening day roster for the Mariners. Good call. How could I forget about Julio Rodriguez? J Rod. So, yeah, so hopefully, fingers crossed, that they'll all perform amazingly, and that would be hashtag good for the hobby. Not much here, but that'll go to the non-human spot. And let's do that randomizer right now. So let's flip back to the list right over here. Let's gather everybody's names. Let's copy those names. New dice, new list. Name on top. We'll get the non-human cards after we randomize that list. One out of five, six times. Good luck. One, two, three, four. Five and a one, sixth and final time. Name on top after six is gonna be Rick. There you go, Rick. I don't know if I called your number, I'll break. So you'll get some uh, some non-human cards going away, including those poker cards. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, thanks for breaking with us. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.